Jewish temple, Vassar Temple. Shooting this like uh, the second weekend of April, April 8th. So there's just a little hint of green as the trees are starting to bud and the leaves haven't quite come out, but there's a green tint. Yates Boulevard. So Poughkeepsie also has some major businesses here. Most prominently you hear mentioned IBM you don't really hear that much of in general but it's still one of the things they point out that IBM has a big presence here their headquarters are south of here in Westchester County Armonk we're up in Dutchess County for sale. I haven't seen many for sale signs here. Now is not the best time to be selling a house pretty much everywhere in the country. stone house there. Sorry, it's looking into the sun. So I'm headed north. Gypsy, originally settled by the Dutch. I don't think Poughkeepsie is a Dutch name, though. It might be. Sounds more like a Native American name. I'll look that up. Always been curious. There's only one Poughkeepsie in the United States. And this is it. It's a nice day. It's like in the high 50s, low 60s. And next week it's supposed to warm up into the 80s. We've been down the street before, but these houses are so impressive. It's not bad to look at them a second time. Look at this one. Wow, what a house. Beautiful mansions. It's nice that they're preserved, too. There's another house with columns. A 
row houses. It's a church from the 1800s over there. Poughkeepsie's home to Vassar College and Marist College is just north of Poughkeepsie. Maybe it's still technically in Poughkeepsie. This is something Warner Home. National Register of Historic Places, 52 of whatever street we're on. I want to look that up. I'm looking for the signs that indicate what street we're on. I'll find that out. Beautiful old church. Christian Fellowship. Some boarded up buildings. Now we'll go through the historic downtown. Let's make it right on Main Street here. Now we're driving east away from the river where the downtown kind of drops off here. side of that building. back into the downtown as soon as I can turn around here on the north side of downtown. stores now you see this with a lot of different uh, Hudson River towns like Peekskill and Terrytown they've built like a high-rise public housing this is a senior housing down near the river which kind of takes away from the overall charm Italian restaurants, another Jamaican restaurant, the Derby. So you can see the reflection of the Hudson River down here. Another high rise. 
size apartment block. Let's drive straight down to the river and then take a look and then we'll come back up to the train, which is right through there. Amici's. Seafood restaurant. You can pretend you're on the sea. It's a turnaround here. The water in the Hudson River actually is brackish. So it's a mixture of salt and fresh water that goes all the way up to Albany. And this is an old railroad bridge. It's now called the walkway across the Hudson. And it's a cool place to take a walk. You can see where the flag's flying up there. A lot of people do it. People come from all over. And that's the Mid-Hudson Bridge. You can walk across that too. It's for cars. So it's a nice little turnaround area here. Okay, let's go back. There's a highway that also cuts off the waterfront area from the river, from the town. It says Poughkeepsie Station, but it's a one-way going the other way. I guess I should have taken another street. And there's a Metro North train sitting there. Now we can get to the station here. I think it's telling me to go left here. Real Hudson River Church with its roof. This is where the real historical homes are down by the river where the city began. Okay, here's the place you go into the station here. Which is also right by the highway, Highway Route 9. It's not a super highway, but it's four lanes, two in each direction. So let's see where I can park and take a look at the station. This is a, a beautiful station from the former New York Central Railroad. Let's see. Let's go to the left. <sighs> well, it's going to throw me out. Maybe there's one space here at the end. I'll park here. Cool awning here. Poughkeepsie Station, if you can read backwards. Let's just laugh it up. It's like a comedy club over there. That'd be pretty cool. Now, this is the northern end of the Metro North system that goes to Grand Central in Manhattan. So you can take it up here. It's like an hour and a half to an hour and 45 minutes, maybe two hours. And here comes another train into the station. Let's see which one this is. It's an Amtrak train. And there's another Amtrak train coming southbound into the station. So Amtrak stops here also. And I'm pretty 
pretty sure every train that comes, Am Amtrak train that comes through Poughkeepsie stops at Poughkeepsie. So I was saying that this is the northernmost station of Metro North, so you can, if you want to, the Amtrak trains go to Penn Station in New York on the west side of Manhattan. And then the Metro North trains go to Grand Central, which is on the east side of Manhattan. They're not too far apart, though. They're like 10 blocks apart. And you might be picking up a little bit of a breeze blowing off the Hudson. So we get to see a lot of train action here as soon as we got here. train is pulling out towards Albany. And here's the southbound train. And its next stop will be Croton. Let's see if I can catch it as it leaves Poughkeepsie. There it goes. So between here and Croton Harmon, which is the next Amtrak stop, there are several stations, including Beacon and Wappingers and Cold Spring, Garrison, Peekskill, and other towns in Westchester until you get to Croton. So there it goes, picking up speed. All right, let's go take a look at the station now. Let's take this covered walkway. I've always seen pictures of it. Now, I'll bet you that there used to be a trolley line that would go across here just guessing and then the trolley would take you into downtown Poughkeepsie walk on the more scenic side here you see occasional barge traffic in the Hudson but it's not a heavily traveled commercial thoroughfare not like it used to be They have a nice parking garage here. A lot of cars are parked here. People have gone into the city for the day, drive to Poughkeepsie and take the train in. They have bus connections. All right, I take it when we get inside. wood paneling here. There's Dutchess County, so I'll show you where we are. We're here, Poughkeepsie, Poughkeepsie Station. Marist College, as I mentioned. Hyde Park is where FDR's home and burial place is, along with Eleanor Roosevelt. And it's a Beautiful county. I'll show more in other videos of different places in Dutchess County where I also have ancestors that used to live here long ago. I didn't know them going back to the 17 and 1800s. I'm going to try to do some exploring of some historic graveyards. I've looked in some, but I haven't found my ancestors that I know for sure that are here. So let's go in the waiting room. You can get different brochures here. It was closed.
I put the name of the architect on the screen. It's a big name. I just the name escapes me right now. But these are like uh, copper. They used to have lights in them, I think. Beautiful. Circle plaque. Lincoln's funeral train came up the Hudson on its way back to Illinois from Washington, D.C. There's his funeral car. I just wanted to show some of the brochures you can pick up at the station. This is on an island in the Hudson near Poughkeepsie. Ruins. They even have a brochure about seeing New York by rail. That's pretty cool. And then uh, Mills Dory State Park is near here. Walkway over the Hudson, which I mentioned. Dutchess County Trail Map, uh, Craft Beverage Trail Map, and Statsburg Historic Site. And then Architectural traditions in the Hudson River Valley. Yeah, there's a lot of architecture here and history. Something about Zen. Zen. So a lot of stuff to read. Let me just take a little longer look at the front of the station. That most people don't see. You see the top of it when you're whizzing by on the highway right here. Beautiful station. I would think it'd be on the National Register of Historic Places. I did not see a sign or a plaque for that, but I'll check on that too. Here in Poughkeepsie. That's where you get your tickets. I didn't see a ticket office open. Maybe there is one during the week. to show you where we are on the Poughkeepsie waterfront and I guess we saw some Italian restaurants there is a little Italy here in Poughkeepsie and we were driving in that south side historic district before as well as the downtown Historic sites are north of Poughkeepsie, like Culinary Institute of America, CIA, FDR's home, and the Vanderbilt Mansion. And then Rhinebeck is a really cute town north of Poughkeepsie. And then these are the Shunga Mountains and the Catskills on the other side of the Hudson. A lot of people getting off the train coming up from the city. So you have the parking garage with the top deck. And then you've also got a little arcade area you can walk to if you don't feel like going right home when you get off your train. Come over here and take a look at the Hudson. Too bad. Now there's a southbound train leaving the station. 
the north one, northbound one just came in and it's all the people are leaving, getting in their cars and leaving. And the southbound one is going back into New York City. Here in Poughkeepsie.